Okay, so here we're starting a new topic. The topic is differential equations. So what is a differential equation? It's an equation that it contains a function plus also some of its derivatives. Um, and an example here is an example of uh, a differential equation. So we've got an equal sign. We've got some function y and we've also got its derivative dy by dx all within that equation. And the the solution to the equation would be to determine uh, the value of the function y such that y plus 3 is equivalent to the derivative of y uh, with respect to x times x squared. So we're trying to come up with the original function or this uh, particular solution for a function y such that that equation holds true. Okay, now because that equation there contains the function and its first derivative. We call that a first order differential equation. Some more complex equations contain not just the first derivative but a, 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 an expression containing the second uh, derivative and that becomes a second order differential equation. But the premise is the same. We're trying to uh, come up with some function uh, y such that if you were to substitute in that function plus its first derivative and its second derivative that the equation would hold true. Okay, so the, the solutions, the way the strategies that we've got vary, certainly between first and second order differential equations, but even within first order differential equations, we've got a couple of strategies that we're going to find out. Okay, so uh, that's the idea of what differential equations are. Um, just a few bits of terminology that we're going to pull in here. Um, so we've, I've already explained to you the solution of the differential equation is a function y that satisfies the equation. So there's really two stages in a solution. The first one is a general solution that contains a constant of integration. Y you're familiar enough with the idea of an indefinite integral uh, where uh, if you've got kind of x, you know, integral of x with dx, we would end up with a third x cubed plus c. And we've got a constant of integration. It's indefinite, whereas you know that if we were to stick some limits in here, it would become a bit more definite. We could find out what uh, we don't have to use a constant of integration and so on. So the equivalent is here, um, the kind of basic uh, solution model will have a constant of integration c. And just like introducing limits into a uh, an integration problem, um, we can introduce some extra information um, into the problem, particular values that that work for a particular ex expression, and we can find our constant terms and we have what's called a particular solution. So that's what we're going to end up doing later on. But for the start, we're going to we're going to start with general idea. Here's super straightforward example of both a general and a particular solution. So that here's about as easy as a differential equation as we can get. dy by dx is equal to x. Okay. Now, the idea here is that because we're dealing with derivatives, we're really looking at integrating uh, to get back to the original value. And what we could say here is that if dy by dx is equal to x, we know that because of the simplicity of this arrangement here, that the original function y must be if we're effectively doing the inverse operation. If the derivative is x, then y itself must be the integral of x dx. So we haven't used any strategies to solve this equation, uh, but we're using a bit of our, our, our current knowledge to say that if dy by dx is x, y has to be the integral of x with respect to x, therefore y has to be a half x squared plus c, and that would be regarded as a general solution because we've got a constant. However, um, we were told in part b here that we've got the same equation, dy by dx equals x, when x equals 2 and y equals 5. So I'm just going to uh, take the solution to my differential equation that I generated earlier. And of course, what we can do is say that at that point, when x is 2, y equals 5, 
in order for it to, the equation to hold, then 5 equals a half times 2 squared plus c, 5 equals 2 plus c, therefore c equals 3. And if that's the case, then I can come up with a particular solution. tells me that y is equal to half x plus 3. And there's my particular solution. So that's a, a super straightforward differential equation. Just to get the ball rolling here, we can make a, a, a general solution with a constant of integration. With a bit more information, we can find our particular solution. Okay, So that's example 1. And a wee bit of background, uh, if you have take um, on board the, the examples coming up and we're going to investigate the first of our solution methods, it's it basically we're going to separate the variables, so have a look at that, okay?